Well, today we're finishing up our beard supplement series where I've tried a variety of beard supplements, some collagen, some biotin, some multivitamins, some gummies over the past three months. And this is the results. And we're going to talk all about it in just a second. So welcome, guys. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I had never tried any uh, vitamins, beard supplements, collagen, any of that stuff specifically for my beard uh, before three months ago. Uh, I've always wanted to, to kind of go through. I like experimenting around with things. Uh, so I wanted to see if I could really tell a difference. And uh, I'm going to give you my final thoughts here. I definitely can tell a difference. Um, but, you know, I would be able to tell a difference regardless on my beard if I don't trim it for three months because my beard grows pretty fast anyway. But let's go ahead and do a quick comparison here. So I started taking these um, beard supplements on March the 1st, but I did a big trim on March the 8th. So here is my picture on March the 8th. And then after uh, one month of taking the beer vitamin gummies, we did a wrap up there. You can go back and take a look at that. And then the second month, uh, we took the collagen complex and gave you the breakdown on it. And then here is the final results uh, today. Uh, so after taking the beard fuel, now the beard fuel that I took is very similar to the beard vitamin gummies. It's kind of a multivitamin. It's got uh, biotin in it. Uh, and then it's got some other uh, B vitamins and some other stuff that, that kind of helps you with your hair growth process. All right. So you can see that. What did I notice as I went through? I do feel like my beard was growing a little bit faster. Uh, my nails were growing faster. My head hair was growing a little bit faster. Um, as far as uh, the side effects, I did notice, at least I think I did, and I know I'm 45 years old, almost 46, so I'm, I'm at the age where I start to get the old man hairs, but uh, I did notice like um, some wild hairs on my eyebrows seem to be coming up a little bit faster, uh, some hair in my ears, um, in my nose, uh, just a little bit, not not a huge difference where um, if, I, what, were, if I was not taking the vitamins, I don't know if I would notice a difference but since I was kind of hyper aware I did feel like I had a few more of those than normal especially in my ears um, luckily it's not the, the thick black hairs or anything like that it's kind of the little vellus hairs but definitely longer uh, uh, hairs going on there and longer on my eyebrows and in my nose as well anyway I wanted to mention that uh, the, the good benefits is I definitely feel like my my head hair looked more healthy. It looked a little fuller. Now, no more coverage. Like it's not going to make you grow hair where you don't have hair uh, already, but uh, it does. It looks a little healthier to me. looks a little fluffier. I've gotten a lot of compliments uh, on some of my videos. Like your beard looks, uh, looks fuller than I've ever seen it. And I don't know if I, I can tell a difference on some between this and some of my other videos back when I had a longer beard, uh, but it's definitely looking fierce, especially with this big mustache uh, that I got going on with it. Uh, one thing I also noticed is I no longer have any dry skin. Now, part of that's probably because we're up on summertime. You know, wintertime, you use hotter water in the shower and it's drier. And I usually when I get out of the shower, I notice like some dry patches across here. I don't notice that anymore. Be interested to see if uh, I continue this, to what I would notice like when I get back to December, when it gets cold and dry again. I also did not notice any split ends. When I first grew my beard out, I noticed I ended up having a lot of split ends. Uh, on the end of my beard, uh, where you run your comb through it, you can feel it catching. You go look, and you got the little little balls of hair there at the at the end. Uh, you can see it like splitting off. I didn't notice any of that. So overall, I had a good experience with it. The pros really outweighed the cons uh, for me, uh, and it's definitely faster growth. Um, so, what are these beard supplements going to do for you? In general, to me, I think it just ensures that you've got no deficiencies on anything that's involved in the hair growing process. All right. So most of the time uh, you go read about some of these ingredients and the vitamins and those kind of things. So it's going to talk about red blood cells and capillary action. It's going to keep everything uh, prime there, everything healthy. Uh, your sebum oil production is going to go up a little bit. Your keratin production, when you take collagen, uh, it's got amino, amino acids. And if you remember from school, amino acids are the building block of protein. Well, that's what your hair is made out. It's keratin, which is a protein. So you're going to get uh, a more readily available of that protein. Therefore, it's going to cause your um, your hair to grow a little bit faster. It also keeps the collagen. It really helps you for your skin. As I mentioned there with the no dry skin, it's going to keep your dermis, which is where your hair follicles are. Uh, it's going to keep that nice and healthy uh, as you can. 
All right. Also, there's some antioxidants in there, which is going to help fight against your free radical damage. Uh, it's going to protect. So uh, some of that stuff is going to be beneficial for it. So what other things could you possibly do to help with your uh, growth uh, or the condition of your beard? Um, I think one's the, the main one's your healthy lifestyle. Yes, these can help, but you also need a healthy lifestyle. And that means your diet, your water intake. Uh, you want as much water as you can to stay, keep everything hydrated and primed. Uh, those free radicals I mentioned earlier limit your alcohol intake and the bad stuff uh, as well. And then exercise. Exercise is going to help keep flushing out everything out, out of your pores and it's going to keep everything moving all the way through. Uh, you can also exfoliate. That's going to help you if you have, uh, I, I did a, a video where uh, you're kind of an aggressive brushing technique. That's going to help you exfoliate and spread around those natural oils. Also, you can get a, uh, a brush in the shower to help massage your face. That's going to help you. Uh, also, make sure you just have a good uh, routine, a good beer routine. Use good products, a good wash routine, uh, uh, oil and butter and that kind of stuff, especially if you're going for a longer style beard. Uh, you know, you got to keep it longer, help, uh, healthier longer because it takes longer to grow out. So those are just some things that I noticed. I really had a good uh, experience with these. Thank you for Beard Octane for uh, sponsoring this and sending me out these um, beard supplements to try. By the way, the beard fuel here is very similar to the uh, vitamin gummies, beard vitamin gummies that I took the first month. Uh, it's the same price, $19.99 for a month supply, but these are caplets instead of uh, the gummies. But anyway, let me know if you guys have tried any of the beard supplements and can you tell a difference here on my beard? Does it look any healthier than normal? I feel like it does. Uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon. We'll maybe do some more experimenting.